scammers are getting smarter and sneakier as they adapt to technology and i've been noticing a lot more scammers when looking on facebook marketplace for more bikes so whether you're buying your first dirt bike or your next i don't want you to fall victim to losing hundreds or thousands of dollars which is why i want to share seven red flags that you need to know about to prevent getting scammed from someone so they're just going to take your money and run not all of these are automatically going to be a scammer but as i've been getting familiar with facebook marketplace which i still hate <coughs> oops <clears throat> i've noticed these things stand out the most when it comes to spotting a scammer so number one is right now it's 2024 so if you scroll down on the ad description you can see their account was made in what year well if it's 2024 this year that's one red flag that i see because there's a lot of people making new scammer or burner accounts and not using their original profile so they got a weird name and they likely don't have any ratings on facebook marketplace that doesn't mean you need to have ratings because you gotta start somewhere but if they have a brand new account no ratings that's the first red flag red flag number two is their communication doesn't match their profile this could be their name and their profile picture not matching uh, or just their description of the bike like maybe it's a really old lady that is selling a 2024 ktm 450 race edition for like three thousand dollars well one a old lady probably isn't going to have that bike or if the description is saying like oh i'm selling this because my son just died from a heart attack in a car accident and i can't stand looking at the bike anymore please come pick it up oh if you see that run away especially if the price is really good which leads me to number three red flag if it seems too good to be true it probably is i've been looking at and buying bikes for over 15 years and every once in a while i do find a deal that seems too good to be true but it ends up being real but for the most part like 98 percent of the time or more it's not this could be a 2023 yz250 fx which around here uh, it's probably worth like five grand ish and they're asking like two grand and it doesn't need any work well that's not real red flag number four is they're not available until days after they posted it so i'm thinking they just posted it they should be able to available to show it like today or tomorrow right you'd think that's common sense but no you send them a message it seems like a good deal and then they say okay but i'm not going to be available for like five or seven days it's like why would you even post it and then you come to find out yeah it's a scam because they want a deposit or something red flag number five is when they're asking for a phone number now sometimes it's very helpful to have a phone number to call up the person and talk to them but this is usually towards the end of making a deal or going to look at a bike but if they're asking for it like right away for no reason well take that as a caution and over the years i've learned five common mistakes that people make when buying a dirt bike especially the first one this ends up with them making a bad deal whether it's a really bad price or they didn't realize how rough of condition the bike was in i got a free guide of those five costly mistakes you can grab that in the description below it's motocrosshideout.com slash buyer red flag number seven is the urgency they're telling you that oh you need to hurry up so we can make this deal they had like a family emergency and they need the cash now well that's a red flag that you might want to stay away red flag number eight i guess we have more than seven is creating a sense of scarcity or urgency again when trying to buy so this could be the seller saying oh i can't guarantee the availability of it i've been getting a lot of messages about it and yeah that's common i've had that too but then they're saying well if you want to guarantee your spot then just put down a cash deposit whether it's like two hundred dollars or thirty dollars or i've even seen twenty dollars people are trying to scam me out of twenty dollars but if they do that out of 100 people well there's a couple grand that they got and there are cases when a down payment can work but earlier this year i was looking at it was a 05 crf 230f uh, for like 1200 bucks which is several hundred dollars uh, less than it's worth it wasn't like a deal of the year but it was a really good deal and uh, i was just match messaging back and forth and he asked for a deposit i think it was only like 50 or 100 bucks so not a lot but it's still something and when i said that oh i only have paypal he said that okay but it has to be uh, through family and friends only my account won't accept for goods and services or whatever and when you send money 
through to family and friends, that's putting all the risk on you because you can't get your money back. So if they won't accept cash or if they only take it through PayPal or another source that doesn't have any security for you, well, that's a red flag. Red flag number 10, which actually this one could be higher, is they have multiple listings in different areas. That's immediately a red flag, 100% scam, especially if it's a really low price, exact same everything. So like they're posting here in Minneapolis, down in Nashville, out in Los Angeles, the exact same machine, bike, whatever it is, that's a scam. Now there's quite a few other red flags that I've seen. This list could go on. So let us know what the number one red flag you see is so that we can help others out that are trying to buy a dirt bike, especially if it's their first one. They don't want to get scammed out because getting into dirt biking isn't as cheap as like bowling. That's why I want to help out trail riders like you get started safely and on a budget. I'm Kelly Fager from MX Hideout. Ride safe, have fun.